how's it going? So we're back with another tutorial. It's been a little while, but in this one, we're going to cover something that is going to work for basically any game engine. I am using Unreal Engine 5 just for the import stuff. That's what I typically work with. But the idea is to show you guys how you can actually optimize your UI or your UX, UMG, whatever you want to call it, specifically when you're using a lot of icons. So when loading icons into a game, let's say with in this example, we're working on a mobile VR project. So memory is everything. What you want to do is minimize the amount of textures being loaded in when you open up your menu. If you've got a lot of them, it can be quite complex. So one thing you can do is you can actually put images inside of text font formats. So if I go into the project here, I've got a custom fonts folder and I have a custom font called icons. So if I open this up, you can see here there's basically nothing in it apart from three icons. I've got a save icon, a home icon, and a cog. So A, B, and C, all lowercase on my keyboard, relate to these. And I'm gonna show you how you can actually set these up and bring them into your project as well. So that way you're not loading multiple formats. For example, if I go into this project, go to additional content icons, we've got a couple of different variations. So I've got each individual icon here. And you can see that if we hover over it, they are a dimension of 1,200 by 1,200, which isn't exactly great already. It means they're not power of two. Uh, they have no maps, which we typically need for UI stuff anyway. And then if we double click them, we'll see that our resource size is about 14 kilobytes. So it is really small. The texture is really small and there's not much information in it. But you can imagine if you've got a lot of these and you've got quite a complex, heavy game, that this might actually add up, especially if you're loading stuff into memory all the time. And even if you do a texture atlas, you build some kind of shader, you're still starting to go up in size. So 85 kilobytes for a 256 uh, texture isn't exactly the greatest thing in the world. So what you could do is you could actually put these inside of a custom font. So in my hotbar menu here, I have a basically for Unity Devs prefab. Uh, for Unreal Devs, I've got a component or a new uh, widget call, like a core widget. So I can use this here, it's repeatable. And then if I open this up, it contains a text block. So right now it's got the letter C, and then we've got an expose parameter here, so we can actually fill this in. So if I do A on the keyboard and press Enter, you can see that we get the cog symbol. If I do C, and then we get the save, and then D, and we get something else, which is weird. I can't remember what I put it down as, B on the keyboard. So we've got a, a variety of different things. And as you can imagine, we can have a lot of different symbols. And the best part of this is if we scale them up, they basically work like vector graphic. So no matter how big this symbol gets in our UI, it's going to stay absolutely sharp. So you can imagine if you're using this and you want to try and scale them textures up, you don't have to go for like 4K, just have some really large crisp textures. You could use this method and then it will give you a really good result. So I'm going to put this back to what it was, hit compile, it shouldn't change anything in here. I've got these exposed, so they're done in here instead. But um, to do this, it's actually really simple. So there's a free program you can download called Font Forge. So Font Forge here, there'll be a link in the description for that. You don't need to go into depth and learn how to run it and learn what everything does. All you need is your icons in an SVG format. So in here, I went to the Noun project. I have bought these, so I have a license in my Noun project for the actual files I'm gonna use in this video. So I've got the loading, I've got the home icon, I've got the save icon. And what we can do is we can put these inside of the font format using Font Forge to then bring them into our game. So if I minimize this, you'll wanna download Font Forge, install it, go through the whole necessary setup, but I already have it installed here. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hit new font. So right at the bottom, we're going to hit new. And what that does is it gives us our glyph page, I believe it's called, when you're dealing with fonts and that kind of stuff. And what you can see is here, we've got a list of corresponding uh, sections. If we click on one, so let's say we want to do this on the letter capital A, we're going to double click this and we get this window. So right now, what you could do is you could draw your own custom, custom icon. You go through this like you need to. It's a whole bit of a weird setup, but I'm assuming you're going to have your own SVG files. So if you do, what you can do is you go file, import, and then you can find out where it is. So mine is on a D drive, perforce, additional content, icons, 
and then I have SVG. So we're just going to format SVG. And if we click the home icon and we say import, we can just leave this as it is and we do OK. And you'll see that it actually draws it out for us and we can see it in white in the A section. So we can actually close this now and then go to B, double click, do the exact same thing, file import at home. We're already in the home, so we'll do save, import, close, C, file import, settings, import. And what that'll do, that'll draw it out for us. So we now actually have these glyphs in here. So you can see you can have as many as you need, really. And you can use any different kind of symbol that you want. So you've got a lot of options to fill in. So you can see how much space this is really saving when you're loading stuff into memory. Um, so we go file and we can actually just do uh, generate fonts. So I've got a new font here. So I'm just going to call this uh, YouTube font. So YouTube font. And then we don't actually have to change anything here. We're just going to do generate. And what that will do is it will create a file for you inside of your folder where you stored it. So in here, and then we have this YouTube font at the bottom. So right now, the way Unreal works is it uses OTT format or OTF format for fonts. And you see here that we've got the OTF. The easiest thing you can do is literally just right click on here, and then you can actually change this output to OTF. And when you rename it, it's actually going to change it to a font format for you. And then you can now drag that into your engine. So in our case, I've got this project already open. So we're just going to use this. I can delete these. And then if I drag this in, we're going to get our import options, load new font, font. And then when we load it in, we should actually get it to load up YouTube fonts. And then we should be able to just go with that now. So that should be it. We don't see them up in here. It might be because we did capitals. But if I go to our blueprint, actually, let's just make a new one. So let's just do user interface widget blueprint, user widget, and open this up. And then we just bring in a text. And now for the font, we should just be able to change this to YouTube. And you can see we've actually got the save icon in there. So now if I do capital A, we get the house. Capital B, we get the save icon. And capital C, we get our cog. So you can see how this loads in a lot faster. And you can actually scale these up, like I mentioned. So you're not going to have to worry about how sharp an icon is. So it's really good. It's basically being able to access vector graphics inside of Unreal when you technically can't access vector graphics. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that there. There's not really much else to know about this. And I will let you guys play along or play with it and see how you find it. But overall, it's a better way of loading in images or vector images directly to Unreal and kind of going from there. Yeah, I hope that helped and I will see you all next time.